Today we're going to go over the steps on how you can create a SOLIDWORKS administrative image. Right here in front of you, I have the default location where you download the SOLIDWORKS installation media. You can see here that I have three different versions, 2016, 17, and 18. For today, we'll look at the 2018 folder. Now, if you're ever curious about if this folder has all the files that you need for the SOLIDWORKS admin image creation, you want to verify that you have a full set of installation files. And the simplest way to do this is to simply right click on the folder and go to properties. A full set of installation files should be a minimum of 10 gigs. Uh, anything over 10 gigs, we assume that you probably have all the files that are necessary. Now, once you have this downloaded, or if you're exploring the DVD because you have a physical media kit, you want to go into the folder here, and you're going to scroll down to the bottom, and you're looking up, looking for a file called the setup.exe. I'll simply just double click it to launch the installation manager. From the installation manager, you'll see that you'll have multiple options, an individual installation, an administrative image, server products, and a download option. Today we're going to go through the administrative image. I'm going to choose to create an image using default settings and simply click next. You'll put your serial numbers here. You need a minimum of at least one serial number. If you don't have them all, uh, you can actually add them after the admin image is created via the option editor. We'll click next here. It will do a, a quick system check. And now we have the summary for the admin image. Notice at the top it says you are creating an administrative image for the major version and service pack of SOLIDWORKS that you have chose. Typically you would come over here to products and you could select or deselect any of the products that you wanted to include your admin image. In most cases, we would recommend that you install all the products that are by default selected and use the option editor to reduce the number of products you want for unique client installs that you'll deploy to. It's a little bit easier this way. Back to summary to go back to the home page. Your download options uh, dictate where you're going to create the image and where the installation files are located. And here is the admin image location. Let's take a quick peek here. So the new image location is this particular folder. If you do not want to use this folder, simply click Browse. And you can adjust the name or the subfolder structure as you need to. We would recommend at this point that you would create the admin image locally before you upsave it to a network drive. Uh, if you go ahead and create the admin image directly to a shared drive, it may take a little bit longer. Once all the options are selected and you have accepted the license agreement, go ahead and click Create Now. This process can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, depending on how the speed of the machine. We'll go ahead and let this finish up. Now that the administrative image creation is complete, it will present this window to you. You can click on Show Me How to Install This Image on a Client and select customize image. The show me how to install on a client will actually go ahead and open you up to this page on the SOLIDWORKS help file. The, it will also automatically update you to the option editor for the admin image. If you click close here, option editor wizard for the admin image, simply just navigate to the folder where the admin image is located and double click it here. To make any changes to this option editor, you'll simply want to click on this pencil icon to edit the global settings, or you can choose to create individual settings here. For any further information about this or any reference, go ahead and open up your internet browser to the website help.solidworks.com. The admin image reference guide can be found under the SOLIDWORKS installation, multiple installs, deploying to multiple clients. Here you'll see links to how to create an admin image with step-by-step -step instructions as well as the option editor and the vast array of options that you can find here.